Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. In the earlier video, we have discussed an example of constructing a pushdown automata. In this video, we will discuss another example so that you will understand the concept in a better way. Let me read out the question. A power n, b power n, c power m where n and m are greater than or equal to 1. So the alphabets of this long ways is a comma b comma c and what are the strings it is possible the strings are in the form of a power n b power n and c power m now what is the meaning a power n and b power n so the meaning is that the number of a should be equal to number of b's and there is no relation between n and m is it clear there is no relation between n and m so i can say that it is only worrying about the number of a's and number of b should be equal how many number of c's comes we does not bother let me take n value is equal to 2 and m value is equal to 1 then what it will looks it will looks like a power 2 b power 2 and c power 1 so you will get a string called a a b b and c so this is a string belongs to the given long ways now if you see that number of a should be equal to number of b's how many number of c's comes we does not bother then how we can construct a push down automata so what i will do is that i will insert or i will push all the a's and for all the b's i will pop the a's then i will find a empty meaning is that the bottom of the stack you will find it as a z now once I see a C and Z, I will keep it as Z and meaning is that I will skip it and I will accept it. If you does not understand, let me discuss with an example. Okay. So now what I will do is that I have AA. So let me erase this one. So I have AA, BB and C. I will have the bottom of the stack is Z. So, whenever I see a, a in the input and the stack is z, means the stack element which is there in the stack is z, then I will push it, okay, and I will go to this one. Now, whenever there is an input in the a is there and stack value is also a, then also I will push it. So, what I have done, I have pushed all the a's. Now, once I see a b and top of the stack is a, then I will pop this A, okay, and I will go to the next one. And whenever I see a B, and top of the stack is A, I will pop this A, okay. So I have done the pop. So whenever I see the A's, I will push it. Whenever I see a B's, I will pop the A's, okay. So these are the two operations I am performing. Now whenever I see a C, and if you look at it, I will have after performing the pop operations of the on the stack we will get at last we will have the element which is there in the stack is z which is a bottom of the stack or initial symbol of the stack. Now whenever you see a alphabet c okay and stack at the top of the stack you have a z then what you have to do you have to accept it okay you have to keep it as z and you have to accept it whether it is a single c or more than one c also there you should accept it so how i can simply say is that whenever you see a yes you will push it whenever you see the b's you will pop the yes and whenever you see the c's you should accept it and the sequence should be always remember this point always the sequence should be all the yes then the, all the b's and all the c's then only the string is belongs to the given longest let me construct the push down automata. I am in the initial state Q0. I am looking at an alphabet A. And the top of the stack is Z. And then I will push the A. Is it clear? So a single A I have pushed. Similarly, if I see A in the input and top of the stack is also A, I have to push the A. 
So here what I am doing in the state Q0, which is an initial state, I am pushing all the A's. Now once I see a B and top of the stack should be A, then I have to pop the A. Now I can see more than one B. See on single B, on a A, I have popped it. I can see more than one B. So what I should do? I should pop all the A's. Okay. And if I see a C, means in the input, if I see a alphabet C, then what should I do? Then I, top of the stack is Z. Then I can assume that the number of A's and number of B's are equal. If I see other than the stack pointer Z, suppose if I see, let's take that, if I see a Z, it is okay, the number of A's are equal to number of B's. Let's take that if I see a A here, meaning is that my input alphabet is C and top of this tag is A. Then what I can say, the number of A's is greater than number of B's. Then I should not accept it. Are you able to understand? Suppose if the top of the stack is B and I am looking at the input alphabet C, then what I can say? The number of A's is less than number of B's. Then also I should not accept. When only I should accept if the input alphabet is C and top of the stack is Z, then only I should accept because I can say that the number of A's are equal to number of B's. So I will reach to a state called Q2 and I will make it as a final state. Now, what I have done, I have seen uh, alphabet C and stag alphabet is Z. So I am keeping it as a Z only and I am accepting it. Now there is a chance that I can see more than one C. Meaning is that if N value is equal to 2 and M value is equal to 3, then you will have A, A, B, B, 3 C. So there is a chance that you can see more than one alphabet C. Is it clear? So, if it is Z, then I will keep it as Z and I will accept it. So, what I am doing is that whenever I am seeing the A's, I am just performing the push operation. Whenever I am seeing the B's, I am popping the A's in the, from the stack. And whenever I am seeing the C, I can assume that the number of A's and number of B's are equal. And if the stack, is, stack symbol is Z, then only I can assume and I will accept it. If you want to verify, you can verify it, okay? Let's take that I have taken A, B, C or let's take it A, B, C, C because there is no, no need of N values equal to M. So that's why I have taken N values equal to 1 and M is equal to 2. Whether the string belongs to the given long ways? Yes, it belongs to given long ways. So then what my push down automator should do? It should accept it. Let's see whether it is accepting it or not. I am in the initial state Q0. Q0, let's take that the stack is initially, Z is only there in the stack. Now I am in the initial state Q0. I am looking at an alphabet A and stack is having the value Z. Then what should I do? I should push the A. Okay. I should push the A into the stack. It is AZ. So I am pushing the alphabet A into the stack and I am going into the same state called Q0 itself. I am in the same state Q0. Now Q0 on B meaning is that I am in the state Q0. I am looking at the input alphabet B and stack value is A. Q0 on B A. What I am doing? I am making it as empty and going to the state called Q1. Is it clear? So I am popping the element A and I am going to the state called Q1. Okay. Now I am in the state Q1. I am in the state Q1 and I am looking at the input alphabet C and the stack of symbol is Z, then what should I do? There is a transition from Q1, C on Z, you keep it as Z. So don't change anything from the stack, okay? And go to state Q2. So I am going to a state called Q2. Now you see this one. You are in the state Q2, 
Input alphabet you are looking at is C and the stag is currently having Z only. Then what I should do? It is their Q2 on C on Z. You should keep it as Z only and go to the state Q2. So from the initial state Q0, by traversing the input A, B, C, C, I have reached to the state called Q2. Now I need to verify whether Q2 is a final state or not. Q2 is a final state. If I reach to a final state, what I can say? The string is accepted by this long push down automata. Is it clear which belongs to the given long base? So I want to discuss another thing. Please listen. The transition like the push down auto counter can be represented using a transition diagram or with the help of transitions also. Like let me discuss few transitions. I am in the state Q0. Okay, the transition function Q0. I am in the state Q0 and I am looking at the input alphabet A and the top of this tag is currently Z. Then I am going to a state called Q1 and I am pushing the A. So you can write it as a transition rule like this. I am in the state Q0. I am looking at the input alphabet A and the stack value is currently having the element called Z. Then I am going to A, sorry, I am not going to a state called Q1. I am going in the state called Q0 itself and I am pushing the A. So similarly, if I want to write, let's take that Q0 on A and A, it is going to Q0 itself and going it. This is another transition function. Now, the another transition function is Q0 on B on A, you are going to a state called Q1 and popping it. Is it clear? Here you are pushing the A's and here you are popping the A. And the next one is Q1 on B on A, you are in the state Q1 and popping the A. See, I have already discussed that in push down automata, you will have three operations. One is the push, another one is pop, and we will have a skip operation also. So here we have performed the push operations. Here we have performed the pop operation. So where I am right now, I am in the state C, Q1. So delta transition function on Q1 on C and Z, you are going to a state called Q2. You are going to a state called Q2 and keeping it as Z. So you are just performing the skip operation here from Q1 on seeing the input alphabet as C and the stag alphabet is Z. You are keeping it as Z and you are going to another state. So this operation we will call it as a skip. Okay. And whenever you are in the state Q2 and if you see as alphabet C and if the stag value is Z, then you are in the state going to the state Q2 itself and keeping it as Z. So this one we will call it as a transition group. Okay, these are the set of transitions. So we can represent the push down automata using the set of transitions or the transition diagram. So I hope you have understood how I constructed the push down automata for this long base. And remember one thing, this is a deterministic push down automata. Why it is deterministic? If you see that, in push down automata, we will not look at only the alphabet. Lot of people will confuse that, sir, I'm in the state Q0. I am looking at the input alphabet A. Here I am making it as a push. Here, if I am another A, I am also pushing. So A on A, if it is DFA, Q0 on A, if it is going to more than one state, then I will say that it is not a DFA. I will say that it is an NFA. But if you see that, you should look at it as a combination of Input alphabet and the stack alphabet. So here it is A and Z, here it is A and A. Both are different transitions. Okay. So that's why I can call it as a deterministic push down automata. So I hope you have understood the concept. How can you construct a deterministic push down automata? If you have any doubts related to this question, feel free to ask it in the comment session. I will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my teaching, please press the like button and share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel. If you really don't like my teaching, share the videos with your enemies, okay? So I request everyone, don't stop sharing the videos, either with your friends or with your enemies, you share the videos. Thank you.